Okay, here we have another example of long division, and this one's going to turn out to be a little bit of an interesting problem, uh, something that we need to make sure that we watch out for. Uh, so here we have 1,823 divided by 17. So again, our process is going to be the exact same. We're trying to decide, uh, you know, digit by digit where we have to begin that division. So let's look at the 17 as the divisor. Will 17 divide into 1? No, it's too small. Will 17 divide into 18? Yes, it will. So we're starting with um, 17 into 18. How many times? Well, that will go in one time. We didn't even have to do any uh, little scratch work for that. 1 times 17, we multiply diagonally there. 1 times 17 is 17, and then we subtract. So 18 minus 17 is 1, and we drop our next digit, which is a 2, and we begin again. So how many times will 17 go into 12? Well, it can't. 12 is too small. But we have to have something written here above the 2 to hold place value. So we literally have to put a 0 in there because 17 times 0 is as close as we can get to 12. If we said that was a 1, that would be too much. So now we would subtract. 12 minus 0 is 12. And now we can drop our next digit, which is a 3. So now we have to decide how many times will 17 go into 123. So here's where we have to start our uh, scratch work. So let's see, I'll, I'll usually always start with 5. It lets me know whether I need to go up or down. So 5 times 7 would be 35. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, so that'd be 85. Okay, that's not large enough. What about 17 times 7? See, that would be 49. And 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 would be 119. Okay, that is still not large enough. Um, I'm going to try times 8 and see if it gets us closer or if it's too much. So 8 times 7 would be 56. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 5 would be 13, so that's 136. Okay, now that is too much. So we need to go with the 7. So 17 will go into 123 seven times. Now we multiply diagonally. 7 times 17 is 119, and then we subtract. So 123 minus 119 is 4. So we have a remainder here of 4. Now remember, we can check this. We can multiply 107 times 17 and see if we get close. So let's see, 7 times 7 would be 49. 7 times 0 would be 0, plus 4 is 4. 7 times 1 is 7. And then we multiply the 1 times each of the digits. So 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 0 is 0. And 1 times 1 is 1. And then we add. So 9, this would be 11, 8, 1. So we did our multiplication first, and then we have to add in that remainder. So when we add in the remainder, we get 9 and 4 is 13, 1 and 1 is 2, 8, 1. So 1,823, and that's exactly what we started with, so our problem checks.